Hello everyone, my name is Sham. We hope you all are doing well. So basically, now we are just going to learn about one function and that function is super. So the super function, basically we have this in the object oriented programming language which we are starting in the Python programming. Right. Now let me just quickly let you know first that what actually this means. Right. So here I have just written something regarding the super function as well. So let's quickly read out that thing and then after that we'll be seeing the practical. Right. So here I have written that uh, in it is the first function which is called when instance is created. This thing we all know, right? That in it is the first function uh, which is basically called whenever we just create the instance of the class, right? After that, what actually super is? So super is a built-in function which refers to the proxy of object which helps to refer the super class. So basically super is a type of a built-in function which refers to the proxy means to copy, okay, which refers to the proxy of the object which basically help us to refer to the super class, right. So basically now I'm just writing the program and from that program it will be more clear to you that what actually I'm just trying to say, right. So just let me quickly go on to the next line here, fine. So now what I'll be just doing is that I'll be starting making some class. Right, so I would just write class and here I would just pass the class name that is one. Okay, inside this I would just make that init function which I was just talking about. Def underscore and init underscore and here the self is passed comma and then the name is also being passed here. Right, come on to the next line here and I would just want to add something into my print function. Let's say that is I just want to add here one underscore underscore init underscore underscore. Okay. And okay, I would just put one comma and add one name also here because name is one of the parameters that actually I have passed inside my init function. Right, so I just need to add this thing here. That is done. Now come on to the next line here, basically on to the next line. Now basically here what I'll be doing is that I'm making my another class. It's a that class is three, your name for the class is three. Okay, I would just put the colon here, come on to the next line, make that same function. That is Basically, def underscore underscore in it. Okay, that is uh, that is in it again underscore underscore and then the server will automatically be passed. Now let's say here also I just pass out the same parameter and that is name here. Okay, I just pass out the same parameter which is name. Then again I would just print out the statement here and that statement is I would just print here that three uh, okay three underscore underscore in it underscore underscore this is like something which i'm printing inside the print statement you can just change this statement all to according to your wish okay again put a comma and here i would just again write that name uh, parameter which i had passed inside my class three now just have a look that i'll be making my third class here now that third class is two and in this class basically I'll be performing the multiple inheritance. Now you remember that we had already studied about the multiple inheritance in the previous videos, right? We had seen about that what is multiple inheritance and how we just write the program for the multiple inheritance, correct? So I'll be just using that same thing here. So let's say inside my two class I will be inheriting my class that is three and even my one class also and one so these two are the classes which I have inherited inside my two class now this means that whatever the properties whatever the functions are we basically we are having inside the class 3 and class 1 all of them uh, will now be also be accessed with the help of the class 2 also so class 2 will also be having all the properties and all the functions which are there in the class 1 and class 3 okay I would again use my def here, okay, def underscore underscore in it underscore underscore and then the self. Now basically I would just not pass uh, any parameter inside my function. Right here I would just add on my print statement and that is I would just write here print and here I would just be adding to underscore underscore in it and again that same thing. Right now here basically I'll be using out my super function and that is like this. So simply we just write super here okay we just simply write super and then pass on the brackets i would just write dot underscore underscore in it and this is the way how we access it and inside this basically what i'm just doing is that i would be passing the name uh, passing the value for the variable which i had declared inside my init functions 
So I had taken the name as a parameter, right? So I'm just passing some value, some string to that name parameter inside my super function, right? So let's say that name here, I'm just adding my own name that is Shambhavi, right? Come on to the next line here and that is done. So now I would be just making the object for my class too, okay? We just only need to make the object for the two class because I had already told this thing in the multiple inheritance, right? I had already discussed this thing in that case. So t is equal to, and I would just write here as 2, right? Now, basically, if I just run my program now, okay, because already the print statements are already added inside my init function, so I just need not to print anything downside now. Now, look at the answer that I am getting here. So, firstly, the uh, init function of my two classes running, and that is resulting me the output as 2 underscore underscore init underscore underscore. Now, why it is running? Because whenever we just like try to do inheritance and make the object, so the, that object is that uh, the class is run first, right? So, 2. Now, after that, basically, I am getting here as 3 underscore underscore init underscore underscore and then here I am just getting as Shambhavi. So, inside my 2 class, I have inherited 2 classes, 3 and 1. So, because of this, why actually I have added this 3 class firstly and then the 1 class. So, whatever the class I have inherited first, that will be executed here. Not the class which I have uh, like inherited in the second case. No, not that one. Remember this thing here, that the class which I have inherited here for the first, that would be exist here. So, in that case, I am just getting 3 underscore underscore init underscore underscore. And after that, uh, inside that, basically, I had even passed the name as a parameter. So, as that thing, I'm just getting here the name. And that is Shambhavi. So, for that, I had used out the super function here, the super right. Okay. Now, I would just come down here. If I just change out the order of this thing. Now, if I just make this three in this, uh, sorry, this one in the starting. And the three at the last. Okay. And now, if I just run out my program here. So now I have a look that basically first I am getting 2. Let me come down. First I am getting 2. And after that now I am not getting 3. Instead of that 3 I am getting 1. Why? Because I have inherited this 1 at the first position than the second position. So in the second I have inherited 3. And in the first position I have inherited the 1. Right. This is clear. I hope this is clear to each and every one of you. Now, basically, we had one more thing here. And now, if we just want to see that what are the what is the basically order of executing of my classes? What is the order that basically here it is following? So, for that, basically, we have a function and that is, I would just add it here. So inside the print statement, I would write 2. Okay, 2 dot. And that is underscore, underscore, M-R-O, underscore, underscore. So, this M-R-O is actually used for finding out the order of the execution of my classes. Now, it means that what is the order for my classes execution? Like, which class will be executed first, after that, which one, after that, which one? So, this underscore, underscore, M-R-O tells me this thing. Let me quickly run out my program here and show you the same thing. Let me increase the size here. Um, okay. So, see. Firstly, it is giving me that the class main under dot 2. So, it is saying me that the 2 class will be executed first. After one, after that 1 class and after that the 3 class. Now, why it is basically giving me that order? Because at last, firstly, here I have entered my 2 class. So, that would be executed for the first. After that, I have, I have inherited my 1 class at the first position and then I have inherited my 3 class. So, this is the reason that why it is giving me that for, firstly 2 will be executed, after that 1 and after that 3. If I just change out this order and if I just make it 2, 3 at the starting and 1 at the second position. Now, if you just check out the MRO order, now basically it will be giving me that first 2 will be executed after that, 3 will be executed and then 1 would be executed. Because here in the, where I have just performed my inheritance for my multiple inheritance where I have done. So, in that case, I had just given the order that basically 3, I have given it first and 1 is given first. So, basically all the things here depend on the order which you are giving. The class which you are inheriting first will be executed first. And the class which you are inheriting secondly, that will be executed secondly. 
right so i hope you have just got the idea about the superclass and even as the mro function let me quickly repeat out the definition which i told you in the starting so that was super is a built in function which refers to the proxy of object which helps us to prefer the superclass right so super is basically a built in function it is a type of a built in function which refers to the copy of the object and which basically help us to refer to the superclass right so i hope you have just got a clear idea regarding the superclass and super function right so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care